Hey, good morning everybody. Today is the 10th of October 2020. My name is Kevin and this is uh, your morning meditation. Um, <clears throat> took a bit longer than normal to get ready to get here this morning, but I appreciate you being here. Um, the card today is the Desert Prince from our um, Wisdom from the Hidden Realms guidebook. Um, the Desert Prince talks about how even in the most uncertain times, the most difficult times, what seems to be challenging times, there are still um, areas that we can um, thrive on, areas that we can survive with. It also warns that be careful of false promises. Be careful of being distracted by things that we feel we want, we might like, we might want to tap into, that are avoiding what's really happening. Um, that's a human thing. It's normal and human to want to avoid what's really going on. Because what's really going on to you and I and anybody else might seem disconcerting. There are famous quotes one comes to mind with the Desert Prince, which is the truth will set you free. The challenge for most of us is there comes many times in our lives where we have to face the inner, real, honest truth. Sometimes about who we are. Sometimes about what we're doing. Sometimes about how we're doing it. Sometimes about how we present ourselves. And when we come off the rails of authenticity, when we come up against challenging times, that truth, that face, that inner re resilience, the, the part of our soul and our spirit that lives within us shows itself. And it typically shows itself when things are really not quite going the way we expected it. So the Desert Prince is symbolizing that it's time to trust that things are going to be just fine and okay, even though everything on the outside might seem to be chaotic and crazy and odd and different. So here's my own take on that for you, a nugget if you will. Imagine in this time that we have that we're being bombarded, as we usually are, by false promises, by lies, by rhetoric that we're not sure we trust. We're not sure what to think. The result of all of that uncertainty is distrust, because at the core of who we are, is the ability to trust, to want to trust, to be trustworthy. And when that trust is either shattered, broken, bent, twisted, or in other words, sent off the rails, it takes us away from the core, the centre. For some, it's a chance to get revenge, a chance to become the untrustworthy person, the person who manipulates, who lies, who knows that if I can get someone to trust my falseness, to buy into my false promises, to listen to my lies, I can get them to do what I want them to do. That's basically a person who manipulates the fear. And fear is simply a collection of lies, a collection of things that you believe that are not true. The fact that you have the physical feeling of fear that matches the physical feeling of excitement, exuberance, means that you have the choice to choose. Are my feelings based on fear or are my feelings based on exhilaration and excitement? 
The difference is your higher self, your intuitive self, your truthful self knows the answer. The Desert Prince talks about surviving amongst false promises. The only person that knows the truth, the only person that can make promises to you is you. With that, it's time to meditate. <clears throat> let's get centered, let's get situated. Put your feet flat on the floor and bring your palms up towards the heavens. <clears throat> Take a big breath in. Clear out the nonsense. And so this morning we're just going to concentrate and... Tap into the breath, which we know to be true, that comes in. And flows out. I invite you today to just do a quick, fast body scan. Check in with your feet to start with. Move into your belly. You can include your legs and your hips, but anything that feels out of whack. By that, it's stiff or tight or the energy's not going through it. It's getting stuck in it. First, identify the true sensation. Is it an ache? Is it painful? Once you determine whether it's an ache, stiffness, small pain or sharp pain, You can simply ask yourself, what does that area of your body need? And go with whatever the first answer is. And if there's no answer, you can't think of one, don't make one up. Just be with the sensation of stiffness, dull ache. Small pain, sharp pain, well, not sharp pain. Get some help for that. Be settled with and resident to the feeling and the sensation that you're feeling in that particular part of your body is revealing something to you or it could be Time to heal, time to be still, time to relax, time to let go. We notice the sensations The body signals when we're meant to pay attention. It's part of our vast spirit and soul that uses the physical sensations of the body to communicate the inner world the essence and the soul of who we are, and the outer world, the physical environment, culture, behavior, that we have yet to process. And 
wisdom to know the truth between the two happens when we're quiet, centered, unattached to any place, purpose, story, situation, or person. The truth gets revealed when we're in our sacred space. The sacred space isn't a place or it could be. The sacred space for each one of us lives within the deepest wells of our soul. The sacred space is who we are, the core of our being, and the energy, power, spirit that we worship, believe in, go to help for. That's between us and that spirit. So keep on breathing into the truth of who you are. Find your sacred space. Listen for what your inner self is asking or saying or sharing or teaching. If what you're perceiving, if your intuition is giving you a clear message and you're still unsure, or perhaps what you're listening to at this moment in time does not land or make sense, acknowledge what you're learning, seeing, hearing. Move on. Each time you find yourself drifting off to another thought, Unless the thought has to do with raising your vibration, seeking the truth from spirit and soul, let that thought go. The thoughts are of any one other than yourself. Release them. The same goes for anything that you are fixated on. Thoughts of having something you don't currently have or wanting to feel something you don't currently feel or wanting to go somewhere you're not able to get to. Let those thoughts and feelings, attachments just be as they are, give gratitude for them and let them go. Use this time of meditation in your sacred space 
to release the binds you have on expectation. Open the avenues you have to the vast possibility to manifest everything for your highest good. Learn to trust that even in chaos, even in no sense, even in deceit and lies, you will survive your journey. Your hands to prayer at heart center. Have a sense of honor for yourself. You're sitting in your sacred space. And lift your thumb knuckles to your third eye center. Together we'll bow and say namaste and honor those that have our backs. Mm. All right then, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I love you. I appreciate you. And... Um, I wish you a great and wonderful, happy Saturday. I'll be back here again tomorrow morning at usual time, around 5.30. Um, and if you missed this, you're catching the replay on YouTube. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.